Well, you know, it's getting very tiresome in the commentary space. Always finding a new story to, to tell. This one in particular is about Batman and the new animated series because now they have turned and made the Penguin a woman. That's right, it gets revealed at San Diego Comic-Con that the Cape Crusaders cast Mini Diver as a female Penguin. Th this doesn't even make sense. I don't understand why you have to continue to twist these shows into something that they don't need to be. People want Batman and his villain, the Penguin. They want to see that. They don't necessarily want to see uh, Oswalla instead of Oswald. Like, that, that's the way things are. It's, there's no real reason to do something like this other than to try and say, we're going to make a check mark and we're going to check it. It doesn't make sense. Putting people in boxes makes them less of a person. And this type of thing needs to stop. You know, if you want to fantasize about these things, then go and do that. Do your Rule 44, 34 thing and go fantasize about these sort of things. But this doesn't even make sense. This is all, once again, a shock and awe for the Crate and Cape Crusader of DC Comics. Are they that out of ideas that they have to sit there and go, well, we, the Penguin's old school. We can't, we can't continue to have the Penguin as someone that Batman goes up against. No, we need the penguin E or the penguin is whatever you want to call her at this point. I just don't see it anymore. And this is coming from Prime Video, revealed at San Diego Comic-Con on Saturday that the actress Mini Diver are flag means death, goodwill hunting, voices a gender flip penguin in a new animated series, Batman Cape Crusader. It does look like the original style of artwork that you saw with Batman uh, in, in the animated series, but changing these things up, why? It does, no, just, just stop. Tell the stories that everyone grew up with and people will still love them. There is no reason to sit there and flip a switch just because you want to, because it's prime, because Amazon says, oh, this is the new demographic. This is the modern audience that people want to have. They don't. If you want to make something like this, just make a different person altogether. Is this going to be an alternate reality? Is this now where we have the, the Flash going back in time and rewriting everything? It, did the, the penguin is uh, sit there and, and sit on too much ice? This is, this is kind of up there with what we saw with Suicide Squad where they turned around and made Mr. Freeze Mrs. Freeze suddenly and, and lesbian and all these other things. It doesn't even make sense to do these things because people love the original stories. People want the original stories. To sit there and change this up for what? A little bit of controversy? A little bit of disparaging news? A little bit of something online because it gives something people to talk about? No, it doesn't. This is why you're seeing DC and Marvel sales fall off a cliff compared to anime out there. This is why you're seeing a, a large rise in other style of mediums. This is why you see the rise in indie for video games, comic books, and everything else. Because things like this, the big powerhouses are sitting there trying to tell us that these things need to happen because they need to show their diversity side of things. It doesn't even make sense anymore. Why in the world would you turn around and change the Penguin? I'm reminded, looking back at the Batman animated series, how the start off of the entire thing, you had the Joker. And then later on down the line, you had the addition of Harley Quinn, a person that had her own background, that grew up with the series, that became, that was the psychologist of the Joker. And the Joker being such a twisted mind, twisted her mind as well to the point that she became one of the villains and now she has she shows up at comic cons everywhere under her own statue now when you look at what they're doing with the new series with prime video and saying the penguin has to be female for what 
there's no real reason for that. His storyline, the Penguin storyline, is fleshed out. Everyone knows it at this point. And then to suddenly just say, oh, okay, we're, we're going to make the Penguin female because there isn't enough in the, in the story or something. I don't even get why you would bother doing this. I guess alternate realities do exist. If That, that would be about the only reason why. Uh, but other than that, it just seems like it's a, it, it, it's grasping at straws at this point. Harley Quinn was a well fleshed out character originally. What she's turned into now is a completely different character from what she could have been. Uh, they, they've made it more representative of things in the world, in the political space, when it comes down to how gender bending goes with these characters. It's... It's really unfortunate to have to sit there and talk about these things. The original Harley Quinn, I thought, was a decent character when it when it all came down to it. But then changing the Penguin just to reflect something else. I mean, if that's what gets you off at night, go right ahead. But I think DC Comics here has completely missed the ship. They're a can short of a six pack at this point and i think they need to come back to the center and just try and figure out how to make a compelling story without having to turn around and completely twist the story into something that it never was meant to be now honestly you know i, I probably won't watch the animated series because of things like this because you know around every corner of that new show you're going to have a new gender bent or a new political pushing point that they're going to put in it and it becomes very distasteful at that point it's shitting on the original works of the creators of batman and doesn't live up to the to the hype and the name of the once great crusader of gotham city these things there's no sense in doing this other than some boardroom executive trying to sit there and say i know what will get people talking we're going to do this and then we will hear it everywhere people will make videos about it everywhere and our show is going to succeed on that merit alone no it's not relying on youtubers relying on word of mouth to try and sell your shows now because you gender bend one character one villain it really puts it in a disparaging light and I don't think it's going to do what they think it does. I think it's going to backfire once again and then they do it as a tax write-off. They get to write off more money and no one wins in these scenarios. It's really unfortunate that we see DC Comics doing something like this, Prime Video pushing these narratives. I mean, I get it if it's a if it's an alternate reality then fine, but I think the Penguin storyline was well fleshed out, especially with Batman Returns. Uh, and I don't think there was the need for something like this to go this far. Out of all, one of the one of the probably worst villains that there is in the entire series, Penguin's probably uh, rated lower uh, because he's just a mundane villain. He 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 has his own hierarchy of uh, of boys that sit there and go around and destroy things. But ultimately, it was gadgets and gizmos. And that's what Batman was all about. Not trying to fight the crime against the gender bent scenario that they have now put in front of us. Anyway, I'm your proud Canadian Phoenix Center Shadow. I'm signing off here. Have yourselves a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe.